Hi guys, my name is Nachi and welcome to a new YouTube video. So today we are going to talk about something a little bit different. I'm actually going to cover some drama that has unfolded on Twitter over the past couple of days. First of all, I want to say that I will be playing a time lapse in the background of a commission I have been doing in December. If you want to see the finished artwork or check out my commission now, the links are in the description below. This artwork has nothing to do with the topic we are talking about. It is just here to provide some visual background while I talk about a topic that's actually a little bit more serious. So what had happened is that Aaron Carter, a musician, tweeted a couple of days ago about how he wanted to promote his merch line and he promoted it with a picture attached of two lions. The lions were drawn by a Twitter artist called Jojo's Art. His links are in the description below as well. And he didn't like that he used his artwork to promote his merch line. He wasn't asked about if it was okay that he used his artwork. He wasn't paid for this and it was basically used for promotion that he didn't have agreed to. I'm not gonna go in depth about other claims that have been made against Aaron Carter since then and trust me there are a lot and I honestly don't want to touch that dumpster fire. I will be solely focusing on covering the current situation regarding Aaron Carter and using the Twitter artist's artwork. So what had happened is Aaron Carter posted a tweet on his Twitter saying Two lions at war can reach an understanding. I have my lion, Dan. You have yours. And then he proceeded to promote his merch line. And attached to that tweet was the picture of the two lions. The artist Jojo Arts then came forward and replied, Hey Aaron Carter, you're using my artwork to promote your merchandise. I have not given you permission to do so. My art is being commercially exploited by people on a daily basis. We artists have rights too. I'd really appreciate if you could retweet this so he will see it. And oh boy, did Aaron Carter see this. He thought it was his time to shine, so he just basically quote tweeted the tweet and said, You should have taken it as a compliment, dick. A fan of mine sent this to me. Oh, here they go again. The answer is no. This image has been made public and I'm using it to promote my clothing line. Guess I see you in small claims court. Fuckery. This all gathered a lot of traction very quickly, mainly because uh, Jojo's art was very vocal about not wanting to get his art used like that and Aaron Carter replying in the way he did. Jojo's art further said... Celebrities like Aaron Carter should set an example, especially since he's also from a creative background and knows copyright laws. If they can take art and do whatever with it, anyone can and will do it. If they are not held responsible, people won't stop treating artists like crap. He also said, here's to all the artists working their butts off every day to improve and make their dreams become reality. Aaron Carter and others may think we shake these off our sleeves in no time, but none gets to see the tears and sweat we would put into our passion. Okay guys, we're almost through, but Aaron Carter needed to come up with a last reply that, ooh, so good. Thank you so much. Aaron Carter tweeted, here's to cloud chasers I was speaking about. My family and a fan sent me the work, you're absolute immature, and I create my own artwork. Stop trying to get clout of my name from a picture I posted. Oh, and fuck you and have a nice day. Hashtag asshole challenge, I promote people. Hashtag fuckery. Like, first of all, oh, before we get into this at all, I promote people. How do you promote people if you don't give them credit? Oh my fucking god, okay. Good, so here's the whole situation laid out for us. Um, let's dive into this. This is actually a problem that occurs on a day-to-day -day basis as an artist. If you do not work in a creative field and do not have friends or family that work in creative fields, you might actually not have heard about this before or maybe not heard about it as often before, but this happens all the time. People feel entitled and inclined to take your artwork and do with it whatever they feel like. I have seen everything from just reposting something and not giving credit to people trying to pretend like it's their work even though it's your work to people selling the artwork you put time and effort into and you find it on 
uh, websites on the internet where you can buy it on t-shirts and prints and mugs and all of a sudden it's on AliExpress or on Wish. It happens all the time. People like JoJo's Art are very protective of their artwork because we are getting exploited as artists. And it sounds really bad and mean. The mean, mean artists don't allow us to use their artwork. Most of the time, artists are totally fine with other people sharing the art and showing that they love the artwork. It's, it's a very nice gesture and normally we get as artists something out of that as well. It's like, oh, somebody else gives me support and says like, hey, I love this artwork. They share it. That's so cool. Maybe in return, I get followers back for that. And that's really, really nice. But in cases like this one, this artwork has been taken. The watermark has been cropped out or um, edited out and it gets posted to promote a merch line and without giving credit to the original artist. I want to say Aaron Carter is not selling the artwork that Jojo's art made, but he used the artwork to promote his merch. And Aaron Carter was very vocal about, oh, I see you in small claims court and oh, it's public, I can do this. But the thing is, you actually can't. You are making money off of this. Are you making directly mon money off of this? No, but you are using it. And he said so himself, like Aaron Carter said himself, I'm using this to promote my merch line. And what is he doing with his merch line? He's making money off his merch line. So what he should do, or the, 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 just to show the tiniest bit of respect, is to ask the artist if he can promote his merch while using this artwork. And people are gonna come and be like, oh yeah, how should he have known? It's like, there's no watermark on it anymore. Like, maybe he didn't even out take out the watermark. Maybe it was just gone already. He got it sent by a fan. He just really liked the artwork. Yeah, but then don't go along and say like, oh, you're promoting people. You're not promoting shit. You're not promoting anyone. It's like, what are you promoting? What, an artwork nobody knows who it is from? That's so stupid. And you're promoting, what you're promoting is your fucking merch line. You're not promoting the artist, you're not promoting the artwork. What you're promoting is your merch so you can make money. So what happened to the artist who spent like, what, 20, 30 hours on an artwork like that? Oh, yeah, he doesn't get anything. Oh, I forgot, he doesn't get jack shit. So this is where the problem lies. And this is where a lot of people on the internet always just think like, Oh, it's not a big deal. It's like, it's on the internet. You can find it anywhere, anyway. So it doesn't matter if I do it or someone else does it. Like, everyone does it anyway. But if we don't stop the mentality of like, oh, I can just take it because it's on the internet, is that you're just going to continue? If you are an artist, like, how often has it happened to you that people just, for example, on Instagram, take your artwork and it just get reposted? Like, where's the credit? Oh, there's no credit. What? Where's your watermark? Oh, it's it's cropped out. What well, guys need to start putting watermarks on your artwork? Well, we do. We do. Artists do do that to protect their art. And what happens? It's gone. People take it out. Well, then don't put it on the internet. If it's on the internet, it's public. And then we can use it how we want. No. No, that's actually not true. Have you ever gone to Google? Like, go to Google image and just like write in super cute bunny. And then you find those cute bunnies. And then look look at what it says underneath. Images may be subject to copyright. Oh, what is this? Oh, it, it says it there, like very tiny. Have you, don't, don't you read? Have you never noticed that? Images may be subject to copyright. What, what does that mean? Do you know what that means? Have you ever clicked on that? It's like on every image. It's every image on Google image has this written underneath it. Copyright ownership gives the owner the exclusive right to use the work with some exceptions. When a person creates an original work fixed in a tangible medium, he or she automatically owns copyright to the work. Many types of work are liable for copyright protection. For example, and then we see visual works such as paintings, posters, and advertisement. And there you have it, people. You can't go around and just use other people's art. And you can especially not do it if you say yourself I use it for a promotion. You use it 
to gain money from it. You use this as advertisement for your weird merch line and your ugly ass hoodies. But you can't pay the artist, you can't credit the artist, and you can't reach out to the artist to talk to them about it. Instead, you go on Twitter and insult them. Somebody like Aaron Carter has a really big following. He shows to other people that this kind of behavior is okay. That clapping back like this at somebody is okay. It's not. It's disrespectful to someone else's work. This is important. This is important to be talked about because it happens so often. People are tired. Artists are tired. They are frustrated. And you can't take this away from us. You could take this away from us if it just didn't happen anymore. But it does happen. So artists have all the right to be frustrated and tired of this. And they have the right to voice their opinion. And I need to actually admit, I have had this happen to me in the past where I said like, hey, take this down because somebody posted something without crediting me. Like it was my artwork and they posted it without crediting me. And I said, hey, take this down. And I said it firmly. I didn't insult them. I just said firmly, you know what? I don't think this is okay. Please take it down. And they literally, people like this try to make you feel bad for speaking up about it. Like, they, they make you feel bad for trying to protect your own work. Like I said, please take it down. And it's like, oh, why do you talk to me like that? Well, you don't have to be rude about it. Well, we're, we're not rude. You're the one rude for posting something in the first place that isn't yours, it's, isn't it? Like, you, you're the one being rude. Like, Aaron Carter tried to do the exact same thing. It's like, it's this mind game of like, oh yeah, uh, you are you are a dick. It's like, I, it was sent from a fan and they meant the best. And look at me, I promote people. But you don't, you don't. You just posted something and nobody knows where it is from. You only think about yourself. You think about how you make your money and how you advertise for yourself and promote yourself. But you don't promote people. You promote you. You are selfish about it and you are looking out for yourself. But don't try to turn it around and make a mockery out of someone or trying to make a mockery out of someone and insulting them and trying to make it look like, turning it around and making it look like, well, I'm promoting people. You, you are a dick for saying that you want your art protected. It's that, it's that really, really toxic internet mentality where, where somebody just tries to make you make you feel bad for for like taking a stand it's it's unbelievable how often this happens and i think it's kind of saying of what kind of person aaron carter is if he tries to do that like getting called out sucks but there's a lot of way to handle this and this doesn't go for aaron carter only this goes for other repost sites too but what happens um most of the time is people are not understanding they are not apologetic what they are they are rude and attacking because they got called out so i'm voicing my opinion because you are taking something from me you are stealing something from me but in return what you get as an artist is people insulting you and being rude to you and being mean to you and even going as fast telling you, you know what, I just do whatever I want. I just take it anyway. And this is what you guys need to remember if you are not an artist and you see stuff like this happening. And I know at least from the people who follow me and on my community, you understand that this is not okay. This is not how you treat your artist. We work very hard. We do this out of passion, but some of us do this out of a profession. This is people's livelihood and you are taking our work and our money from us. This is important because it hits really hard for artists. And this is kind of where I want to leave this video. I thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sorry I got a little bit ranty. I'm sorry I got mad. But this is a topic that's very dear to my heart. And I think we need to change 
something about it. I am really happy that Jojo Saad spoke up about this and tried to change the situation into something positive. Please show him some love, go to his Twitter account, maybe follow him or follow him on Instagram. He really deserves it. Please support your artists and the creators you like. Support them as much as you can and if it's not in a monetary way with at least love and respect, comment, like, share their art and they will appreciate it in return. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!